Hello and welcome to Channel 42 where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is another Factorial NoobTube video and we're going to be covering a little bit more in depth of the user interface. So again, in the last video we talked about um, some basics of, of harvesting things um, and, and basics of mining, things like that. Now let's go into the inventory and into crafting. So of course I've just pressed E to get into this screen and uh, E also closes it out you'll notice you've got here crafting. Now, for now, character isn't very important. So under crafting, you've got logistics, you've got production, intermediate products, and combat. Um, these are all pretty important, of course. Um, if you've turned off biters, combat's not as important, except for radars. Those are always helpful. Um, but the idea is you hover over any one item and it'll tell you what you need to make that item. So we're hovering over transport belts and it takes one iron plate, one gear wheel, and you'll see in the bottom left corner, one second to produce. So if I click on that, you'll see right there, there were two little symbols. So take a look right here as I click on it again, and you'll see a gear and a belt. Now, the reason it did a gear first is because I had the iron plates, but not the iron gear wheels. So it had to make one iron gear wheel before it could make the transport belt. Something like this, you'll notice it has a stack of different things it's making as I click on it and, and construct it. Now, electric inserters, those are um, a little more advanced because you need power poles, you need to use a boiler and a steam engine to create electricity and get that electricity to that inserter. Um, but I don't want to cover how to do all that. I want to let you guys explore and just give you the tools you need to explore. Um, the other one that's important, offshore pump, that gets you water to create steam. Um, <clears throat> stone furnaces, of course, that's your early uh, smelting unit where you can uh, put your iron ore and your copper ore in along with a fuel source and it creates those plates that you need, uh, these intermediate products. The rest of the intermediate products are made in assembling machines. Now, you don't even have those yet. So we're going to close out the crafting screen um, because that's, that's kind of self-explanatory there, and go into the T screen. So pressing T on the keyboard gets us to technology tree. Of course, the very first thing you ever have to research is automation. That's the idea, key technology for automating and uh, mass production. Uh, again, that's the building block of Factorio is this um, little guy, the assembling machine. And even in the technology tree, you can see what it's going to require by hovering over those uh, symbols of what it unlocks, the effects. So we've got to um, build a tech lab and start researching some of these science vials. Um, red science is what the general term is. Um, they call them automated science pack, and that's um, uh, changes. You can see there's green, there's uh, blue, purple. Um, the military has a silver one, and it goes and goes and goes until you've got the, uh, the whole stack of them and need uh, 2,000 of them. Of course, that's the whole tech tree. But automation is the uh, very first thing you need to learn. You've got to get electronics pretty early on. And then I usually recommend, where is it, logistics. Um, fast inserters is good. And then uh, automation two, is it? No, that just gives you factories. I can't remember quite where it is, but it's, um, it gives you belts and splitters and inserters. And I thought it was right here. Oh, this is another really great one to get early on. Um, that's your technology, your, your power poles. Here it is, yeah, logistics. It's another of the basics. So it's, not, it's kind of above or parallel to, um, to automation. Logistics gives you underground belts and belt splitters. Again, really, really important early stuff. So those are the first two that you, I would recommend. And that's done, of course. You build a lab, which requires all that stuff, and start creating, and first you have to do it by hand, your automated science packs. Drop those into the lab and it'll process them into this technology uh, progress bar that you can see is no research in progress yet. So we'd start that research and you could see that go. So that's the uh, science. Uh, next we're going to get into some production tabs and, uh, and see where we go from there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions or uh, any comments and, and requests for other videos. Uh, so long and thanks for all the fish.